Hey guys, MC here, just with a couple updates. I haven't had a lot of videos in the last little while, just been busy with Christmas stuff. And the time that I have been playing, I've been grinding out new gear, which thanks to a couple good friends of mine, I now have a Trials gear set up for my Nightblade. I'm going to have a build video um, come out shortly for that. So yeah. Um, here in Imperial Sewers, I bought as many of these reagent packs that I could afford, which was 50. So I figured I would open them up. That's pretty good. I've heard these are quite good. Yeah, so it looks like you get at least a couple of good ones. What's up, and everybody? A bunch of crappy ones as well. Or anyone. But all in all, I think it's worth it. Especially with Keijo's not being bought as much anymore. Um, the Keijo's, like spending your Talvar stones on Keijo's, aren't worth that much. Rapora's really easy to get now as well. So based on all the good reagents I'm getting, I'm assuming that this is probably the best Telvar to gold exchange rate. Alright, I'm just going to mash through these really quick and see what I ended up with. So I was getting quite low on reagents, um, especially ones that are used to make spell power, weapon power, and the tripods. So all those, I guess, more valued reagents. I wouldn't have had any more than maybe 20 of each. So I'll take a look here. I'll go into... Oh, there you go. So 33 lady smock, 66 bug gloss, 42 con corn flower, 60 wormwood, 63 mountain flower, 48 dragon thorn, 81 columbine. Wow, that's 80k. Damn. So yeah, looks like these definitely are worth it. So again, I apologize for uh, lack of videos. Um, a series of mine that I've recorded a couple for that I might start um, is soloing met dungeons. Which is so show even after the patch they aren't that bad. I've only done Vaults of Madness so far, but I'm going to try to record as many dungeons as possible and release them. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Talk to you later.